Hey all, all right, quick little update on the flinger. I'm just about finished the electronics box. I've gone through a heck of a lot of different prototypes building it. So these are the final three pieces that make it up. The main board mounts, the bottom and sides, and the top and side. This is one of the prototypes. So this is the main board mount. It kind of goes on like that. And this will actually be epoxied together to uh, to seal it all up. It looks like that. And the main board mounts on those two screws and it sits in those two grooves down there. I have a, another motor controller here kit that I'm going to assemble. I'm going to use that one instead of the one I have been using because... There it is. This is the one I've been using. And it has the two headers on here for connecting. If you look at my previous videos, you'll see. But when I build the new one, I'm not going to use these headers. In fact, I'm just going to solder the wires. Let's see if I got one hanging around here. This is a wire. I'm actually going to solder the wires directly to the board. That way I don't have to worry about these headers and, and plugs, which take up a lot of space and a lot of height. So the main board mount sort of kind of goes in here on the bottom. Uh, you know, it sort of angles into there. Catches in the bottom of the, of the holes there. You see those little uh, slots there. And then it mounts on top of... Oh, that's why it doesn't fit. I've got it backwards. There. So that goes on like that. And then this will actually be epoxied together. This kind of fits on top of these holes and gets mounted. I've got the plug there and the USB connector coming out the side. The reason why the plug is off kilter is because it has one of those side locks on it. Just pulling it out here. It has a side lock. Right, so I need to have room for this. The USB uh, to FTTI to TTYL adapter, this thing down here, is actually double sided tape stuck in there. You can see that there's a little slot and a space down there. The slot right here is where those pins kind of fit in. Like This is a header so they kind of sit in there and, and uh, works very well. And then up on the top piece, this piece, is where the fan will get screwed on. And this is where the headers will fit out. If I just kind of stick this on here you can kind of see how the uh, the headers will be poking out there. So this one has a bit of a groove cut into it. This is where the uh, motor wires will come out. So all I got to do now is just uh, solder this board together, glue this together, and then I can just screw everything on and I'll be done. And then I just have to do some motor tests. So it's coming along. I'm not entirely fond of this box. It's very squarish. It doesn't have rounded corners because they're so thin and and whatnot. But you know what? It, it'll work. It's all right. I can deal with it. Let me just put that in there. Put that on there. And then this piece kind of just fits on top. I can't. Whatever. Anyway, so that's where I'm at. Bye-bye.